ChatGPT for iPhone is now available in the UK and 10 other countries. Unfair criticism of Apple. ChatGPT for iPhone launched in the US last week, and OpenAI promised it would be available in more countries within the next few weeks. The next phase of the rollout is ahead of schedule and the chatbot is now available in 11 more countries. ChatGPT for iPhone. You can of course access the ChatGPT website from your iPhone, but using the iPhone app is more convenient, especially since the app is free and has no ads. ChatGPT for iPhone offers the same functionality as the web version of the service. This includes support for ChatGPT+, which allows users to sign up and pay for upgraded versions of the service. This app syncs your ChatGPT history across all your devices including the internet. It also includes support for Whisper, OpenAI's open-source speech recognition system. Integration with Whisper enables voice input to his ChatGPT app on iPhone. ChatGPT app is also completely ad-free. There were many rogue apps on the App Store even before launch and before Apple started blocking them. The app will be available in 11 more countries. OpenAI announced yesterday that the app is now available in 11 more countries. Albania, Croatia, France, Germany, Ireland, Jamaica, Korea, New Zealand, Nicaragua, Nigeria, England. The company says more countries will be added soon. Apple comes under fire. Impressions of generative AI systems such as ChatGPT, Google Bard, and Microsoft's Bing and Copilot have led many to question why Apple is lagging behind, as well as many spiteful comparisons to Siri. In fact, Apple even banned employees from using its generative AI platform for work projects. I've already given most of the answers, but it's just too risky at the moment. Large language models, LLMs, are very good at sounding intelligent, but much worse at actually being intelligent. Apple isn't ignoring generative AI either. CEO Tim Cook appreciates the potential, is actively recruiting new employees, and says generative AI will transform the company's mobile offerings. The company has been an AI pioneer for years. Apple may be taking a cautious approach to chatbots, but it's worth remembering that Apple is a pioneer in the field of artificial intelligence. Its AI accomplishments are nothing more than stealth. For example, Siri may be criticized today, but more than a decade ago he was the first AI-powered natural language processing system introduced to the mass market in 2011. In 2016, Apple launched the iPhone 7 Plus with portrait mode, an AI-powered computed photography feature. A year later, the company equipped his A11 processor with a special AI chip in the form of a neural engine. This enables a variety of AI-powered functions. Photo app face recognition, object detection, augmented reality, in the center, live text, intelligent HDR, night mode, photo style, voiceover, duplicate photo detection. This Cupertino based company may not be passionate about generative AI, but rest assured they have some interesting work behind the scenes.